project to show us now, and it begins with a shopping trip with videographer Patrick Reynolds. Danielle, I thought we were doing a DIY in the bathroom. What are we doing here? <laughs> well, we are going to do that, Patrick, but first I need to find the perfect piece. I'm at Frontier Furniture, which is one of my favorite places to look for antiques. And what is the first thing to consider? Well, I need a piece that is between 32 and 36 inches high if mm -hmm. I'm going to convert it to a vanity. And I've already got a vessel in mind, and this is going to work perfectly. So I've got the piece set up here in my basement, Looks and I good. have... <laughs> Thank you. And I've replicated the area that it's going to be in my client's house. So we've got sconces, a mirror. We're doing two faucets. And wow. we're doing this very cool long rectangular trough sink. Beautiful. So the next step is just to drill a hole for the plumbing? Absolutely. So I'm just going to drill a hole right in the center. I've mm -hmm. got my specs for the sink. Right. And that is where the drain is going to go. Okay. <laughs> So the drain is going to fit right through here. Right. And I really lucked out because ah. this is the P-trap, and this has to go underneath the sink. Right. And in this case, it actually fits within this oh, drawer. Yes. So can you see that I've got room, so it's not even going to affect the functionality of the drawer. So no extra cut. No, I'm going to modify the back of this drawer a tiny bit just so it can open and close. Right. But other than that, that's it. So here is the finished product. It looks fantastic. <laughs> it's all of our hard work put together. Yes. So um, it's actually amazing because it looks like it was made for this little alcove. That's it why I does. jumped on it so quickly. Yeah, I love the color. Yeah, it's, it's a very special lacquered blue. It's uh, a request from the homeowners to have something that pops in here. Yeah. And what I love about the sink is we actually have a double vanity now. We wow. were able to put these wall mount faucets in and in a space this small it's imp almost impossible to get a double vanity so this has worked out perfectly. Excellent job. <laughs> Good work. Thanks. <laughs> So you've already seen the vanity. Let me tell you about the rest of this renovation. Okay, what did this bathroom look like before? Actually, it was completely non-functional. So there was a separate shower here, which is a great idea, except that it really ate into the space. And the homeowners didn't use the bathtub at all. They actually were storing their outdoor pillows in it. And when you're talking about 50 square feet, it's not okay to have a quarter of it not functional. Right. So the first thing we did was we amalgamated the shower and the tub, which opened up this area. Then we added storage and we kept it all very streamlined. We used floating storage. The old vanity used to protrude into the middle of the room and you couldn't open the door oh. if you were standing there. So we've added a pocket door too. So all of those things that just make the space work better because it's not a large space, but it's big on detail. Perfect, well done. And this space, is special, isn't it? It really is. So it's a gorgeous church loft conversion. And whatever we did in this room, we wanted to add character to match that. So we've got the floor to ceiling subway tile with the detail of the dark gray grout. We've added a gorgeous little shower curtain with some tailored looks to it. And of course, we've got the vintage vanity. You've done such a, an amazing job here. It's just, it's lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm really happy with it, actually. I love working in spaces like this. So much respect for the DIYers out there that can make your bathrooms look that good. <laughs> so 